Alright guys, and we are back with the Mar Bravely Second, and we are about to pretty much continue off where we left off on the uh, side quest line for... Uh, I don't know what you would call this, but I, apparently uh, we might end up having a choice to, to choose between De Rosa or the Jackal. They both have different asterisks, and as advertised on the back of the damn game case, we have to choose between these two to get their asterisk. And pretty much, I don't know who I'm going to choose. I think I'm going to choose the Red Mage, to be honest. I think I'm going to take the Red Mage stuff. Simply due to the fact that, well, Red Mage was really fucking broken in the first game. Excuse my language. No. You know what? Never mind. Don't excuse me. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. We're about to head out to, I guess, go talk to Jackal? Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Moon Base. Let's check out Moon Base real quick. All right. Bomb, arm, and spider web. All righty. So now we can buy some bomb arm and a spider web action. Some spider web action. Munitions, we can make arctic wind, which is probably like high damage. High ice damage or high water damage. Quite honestly, I think I'm, I want to unlock that ASAP. You just got to put your resources to uh, efficient use. Like, these items are probably just going to help us just run through this game <laughs> in reality. This is on hard mode, too. So, here we go. We go to the Oasis. I think we can talk to the Jackal. And we got some more mummies. Guess what? Feel the burn, baby. Really Mustang that ass. Uh. <laughs> I should get a glove. Uh, it's not my fingers. Burn people alive. Oh my god, I'm poisoned. But it's okay, we killed him. One more, one more, one more. We'll do one more. Run it back. The party's feeling brave. Oh yeah. Uh, set him on fire. No love. Look how fast this is. Look how fast we're making work of these guys. Uh, waste not, and we get to keep our bomb fragment. Why would they give me a skill where I can use an item and not even waste it? <laughs> Boom. Uh. Damn right. Your party's feeling brave. Ooh. We can keep doing this. We're getting extremely lucky right now. We're just getting completely lucky. <laughs> we can keep doing this. <laughs> Bruh. So check it out. Remember what I taught everybody before on that, like two episodes ago? We're gonna do it here. Just because. We'll never give up. Heal. Uh -huh. She doesn't heal poison, does she? Oh, she healed poison. No, she didn't. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Yo, this is—we're not even. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> Yo, they made this free, dude. <laughs> dude, they keep giving me brain points. We're not gonna stop until I stop getting them. <laughs> the RNG is real today. RNG. Come on, give me some more. Give me some more, dude. Uh, burn them off. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bruh. This is perfect. This is all I could ever ask for in a damn RPG. This is literally all I could ever ask for in an RPG. <laughs> Look how fast these fights are going. Oh gosh, she put somebody to sleep. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Come on, RNG. Roll the dice. Oh, we didn't get it. Come on, roll them dice. Are we gonna get more break points? Roll them dice. Oh! Oh right, yeah, we're gonna end. 20 victory. <laughs> Eye of the Wolf. Eye of the Wolf. 
This is perfect. Bomb fragments are OD. So here we go. We're gonna enter the Oasis and probably view a cutscene. Now listen. If you want to be a real bandit, you gotta follow the rules. No exceptions. Right, boss. Rule number one. Don't steal from anyone weaker than you. Rule number two. Don't steal from anyone poorer than you. Rule number three. No stealing from people who are crying. What the? Rule number four. Steal people's stuff, but not their dignity. Huh? He's uh, teaching this kid how to steal. Later. Go on. Scrap. Oh, this mother. <laughs> Quite the impassioned lecture. Training the next generation? Well, yeah, that's right. The desert's a, uh, a tough place. They need to learn how to survive. Well, look at you, Mr. Nice Guy. Shut up! What do you know? And why are you here anyway? We've been researching the Wellspring Gem in our campus, and we found out some things. You did, did you? Yes. Like, for one, it almost certainly exists. See? All these historical records specifically mention it. Right. And a lot of them mention that place to the west. You know, where you had your hideout. The something... something ruins? Do you have any clues? You're asking me? We cleaned that place out pretty good. Uh, I don't, uh... Wait... Oh, yeah. Way in the back, we found a tunnel that seemed to lead further in. It looked ready to collapse, and we didn't see nothing good, so we just blocked it off. Not worth the trouble, you know? Look around the big chair in the hideout. Thieves' den. Big chair. Got it. Got you, fam. I got you, fam. Somebody is poisoned on my team. Boo -boo -doo -boo. That's right, we got all the resources. The funny thing is, we're doing so much damage. Uh, the reason why we're doing so much damage, I gotta make sure I'm on uh, hard mode. I'm pretty sure I'm on hard. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, we're on hard. We're doing damage because bomb fragments, like items that deal damage, are set to do a certain amount of damage. No matter what level the difficulty is, uh, whatever level you're on, whatever difficulty setting you're on, it is, it's always going to do a fixed amount of damage. So, that's why I'm using items, because they just make quick work of things, real quick. And then the fact that you can actually just sit here with waste not, like, it's OD. Look at that. I have bought 99, but I'm pretty sure we went, we should be like, like, maybe... 40 or 30 right now with bomb fragment, but waste not has been kicking in a lot. So Anyway, we're just gonna be chucking items for like the first chapter <laughs> So here we go Oh, I wish they would play the original theme That 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 theme was so good. I wish they played it our eye drops. We also gotta look for hidden uh, corridors and whatnot. But there's so many ways to play this game. There's so many ways to break it. That's why I enjoy Bravely Default, because there was just so many ways for you to play the game. You had access to too many tools. And I, that's what I really like about RPGs that allow you to just mess around and find your own playstyle. I enjoy games that do that, rather than just the set freaking, the set play bullshit in most RPGs. Oh god! That's right, I forgot about those things. One pig? Are you kidding me, fam? One pig? Someone was here already then. We're all blind, but it doesn't really matter because we're chucking items. <laughs> now that I think about it, we're chucking items, dude. What's going on, everybody in the chat? Oh yeah, this looks like a fun fight. Oh! <laughs> we nuked that ass! <laughs> Nuke that ass. Oh my god, it's a giant worm. So magnifying glass will him. Yeah, I guess we can use it and then use a freaking bomb fragment. Thirteen twelve. 
All right, we're gonna need to use three bombs on him. Boom, waste not, that's fine. We can use three more. Look at that. Keeping all my bombs. Keeping all my damn bombs. See, now the enemies ha have way more HP. But they're, it's not going to stop us from nuking their ass. <laughs> it's not going to stop us from nuking them. Alright. Uh, potion, 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 potion. I don't even really give a damn about being blind right now. I'll fix that at the end. We can go downstairs from there. Oh, we can go to the right here. And another uh, staircase. Bah, 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 bah. Ooh, you tried. At least you tried, guy, behind there. Oh, let Ooh, I forgot to completely equip my new stuff. All right. Claire. Ooh. Magic attack up. Physical defense up. Magic defense up. Anything cool? No, no special effects. I think he'll equip that. She's gonna equip the damn Academy Gown. She really needs her magic defense and physical defense to be up. They just need better stuff overall. I think if the mana robe is actually giving her effect. Nope, never mind. Everybody equip this Academy Gown. Boom, boom. Oh, look at that. No, uh, Iron Bow is pretty good. And then anytime we need to switch specials, we can always just pretty much, uh, we can just switch items during battle to switch their specials, their over limit, which is pretty great. Just taking advantage of all the game's freaking tools, man. She looks pretty cool in this. Let's actually put her in this. Let's put them in their stuff. Looking fresh, looking real fresh. Barrel Helm. Oh, look at this. Magic Defense goes up like a mofo. Magic Attack, too. Maybe I should give that to my boy Yu because he's going to be using magic more than anyone. It only goes up by two, though. So I should probably give that to the other girl, Magnolia, because she's going to be... She's also a uh, wizard, so I should definitely give that to her so she can uh, have higher magic attack. Bam. Dad's going to probably want to equip... Well, I guess she can also equip this for the magic defense up. Yeah, I might as well just give them all the same stuff. Round shield. Oh, I should have got a large shield instead. Alright, cool. Looking fresh. Oh! Damn it! It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. We're supposed to be between level 11 and 15. Okay, that's cool. We're level 15. So we don't really have to grind. Because we already did that ahead of time. Another worm. Blow him up. Boom. Boom. One more. Boom. Just blowing these guys up. Items for days. We got money. We got money. So we might as well. Let's go crazy. Oh, there's an item over there. Ether! Those are gonna come in handy when we start using items. Or when we start using magic again. <laughs> if we ever use magic again. There's actually a staircase. I wonder where this goes. Uh, we'll go back up. I wonder if this dungeon layout is exactly the same as the previous game. Because I feel like it is. Oh boy. Let's actually have... We're going to examine both of these guys. Eight hundred sixty-two water, inorganic. Four hundred five wind, inorganic. Boom. Waste not, baby. Boom, boom, boom. 
Oh god, did I actually... Your party is feeling brave. Oh, that's always good. This dude's weak against water. The scorpion, however, I don't know who, what he's weak against. So I'm gonna use the magnifying glass and then I'm gonna use uh, Antarctic Wind twice instead of using three bomb fragments. I'm gonna have the other two defend. 405, he's weak against water too, so it's, just, it's a wrap. Uh. Nice, and only one was wasted. Dude, this party knows how to recycle. They're really good at recycling, I tell you that. <laughs> this team is real good at recycling. Real good. Alright, there's two items. And there was another freaking staircase, I guess. If we come over here. Remedy, we need to go right back upstairs, apparently. Alright, since we're backtracking, I don't want to run into anything else. As we're going forward, I'll turn it back on, but backtracking? Nah, fam. I feel like there was probably like a secret item over here then. Boop, boop. It's probably like in the walls or whatnot. Alright, yeah, there's a secret path, but it wasn't over here. I thought the secret path was over there, but I guess I was wrong. So we just gotta... We just gotta make sure we go on the right path and find the hidden path. Because th this is just such a throwback to older Final Fantasy games. These Bravely Default games. Such a throwback. And I'm already hearing the dude that made the game wants to make a third one. And I wouldn't be against that, to be honest. I would not be against that fail. Yeah, there we go. We found it. Thief's knife. Hey, thief's knife. What can we use with this? If we can steal with it, if we can actually steal with the thief's knife, like I'm thinking you can do, I'm definitely going red mage. Uh, let's see. Deals 50% more. Attack and... Oh, attack a single target and have a 50% chance of stabling the item. Oh, hell yeah. So, yup. I think that seals the deal that I'm going with the uh, Red Mage. Asterisk. So, what we want to do is give him his bow back. Wait, he didn't have a bow. He had a staff, right? Well, for the meantime, let's just have him equip the Wizard's Rod. Boom, boom. Alright. Bravely Third. Bravely Triss! We're gonna have a whole... We're gonna have nothing but Latinas in the game. We got a French person, right? We're gonna have Latinas. It's gonna be a Spanglish game. It's gonna be awesome. Because I love Latinas. Latinas are amazing. Latinos. Both. As soon as I turn on the encounter rate. Yeah, man. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> we've been waiting for you, man. Yeah, we gotta do it. There was no if ands, or buts. They forced us into that one. Copy into command three. Yep. Now I, what I just want to do is just spam bomb fragments. Yep, you're done. Don't call it quits. Oh god. Oh, dodge! Look at the oh! Look at the movement! Look at that movement! That movement was so immaculate. <laughs> I think there's an item down there too. Oh, whatever! I'm already blind. I'm already blind, dog. Right.
Enemy gets first strike. Oh, hell no, man. Come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. They inflicted all kinds of static elements. We burn them. <laughs> we, we burnt them alive, though, so I can't really complain. Oh, man. We're all the way over here now. Ah, blue chest, man. That's the second blue chest we've seen. Hold on. I'm turning off the encounter right now. Uh, we're gonna actually go ahead and heal that. I should have gotten a fight, use half seas on a high po with a high potion and just recovered all my health. So like when I get items like elixirs, I can risk it to get another biscuit. You feel me? I can risk it to get another one. Or basically risk it and use it, and then pretty much still have a, a use for it. Looks like there's another secret item here. So where could it be? This uh, hidden item I can't see. It's it's usually like all the way down south, isn't it? It's always like right over here or something. I feel like that was it, but maybe not. Damn, where is this hidden item at? Where is this hidden item at? It's gotta be somewhere. Uh, I think I know where it is. It's very suspicious looking. It's like right here, isn't it? Nope, I was wrong. I'm wrong. Oh wait, the oh my god, it's the blue chest. I'm I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I forgot about the blue chest. Oh, sorry for wasting about thirty seconds of your time, everybody. You can have a, you can have a. Uh, what do you call those? Uh oh, it's a fox. Looks like we get a skit here. Yep, yep. Rest in the tent. Hmm. What is it, you? It's just a Professor DeRosa and the Jackal. I could swear that I've met them before. I just can't remember when or where. Are you sure? Both of them? Maybe you ran into them when you were studying at our campus. I don't know about that. Jackal was busy causing trouble here. And you graduated long before DeRosa joined the faculty. Right, right. It's just so strange. Men of such noble spirit should have made a strong impression on me, so why can't I recall them more clearly? Noble spirit, eh? Well, yes. The Jackal selflessly helps the people of the desert, protecting them from peril. While DeRosa devotes his life to seeking a new energy source that will bring lasting peace and prosperity. I mean, what could be more noble than that? You're right, but they did seem a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, and there's a good reason for that. Jackal may be head of desert security now, but back in the day he was the leader of a notorious bandit gang. He attacked the innocent people bandits. who came to the Oasis for water and stripped them of all their money. Didn't they call them the Wet Bandits? <laughs> Which is hilarious. What? A bandit leader? But he's barely older than me. I know, right? But he lived on the streets and had to grow up fast. What about the guy in red? What's his story? He was even worse. He manipulated the hearts of women to bring down an entire country. I still can't believe that conniving old lech is trying to solve Lux and Dark's energy crisis. Yeah, I know that people can change, but I have a hard time buying the new versions of those two. Mais je suis impressionné. You have such interesting friends. But I'm worried there's going to be trouble if they're both seeking the same relic. Yeah, especially after what you just told us. It reminds me of the hooligans who used to lurk in the back alleys of Al Campus. <laughs> yeah, those two definitely fit the bill. Right. 
Just like the crooks I used to chase down in the back alleys of Eternia. You? Did those hooligans on Al Campus ever hurt you? Yes, but I always got them back. Or, well, Jan did. Well, that's okay, man. That's okay, Jew. Because, you know, when you get that run back, you're going to be chucking items at his face and he ain't going to do nothing about it. You feel me? You feel me, but you... You feel me, but you don't? What? Okay, there's no items in here, but there is this. So this is the chair, right? There must be a button or switch or... <clears throat> something. Uh... Idiot, are you sure it's smart to yank on it like that? It could be a trap. I have a feeling I should have saved about it. this sword? Ah! It moved. Look, steps. See, as soon as I saw it, I thought, I bet it's a sword. <laughs> anyway, shall we go? Anyway. What the hell? Who is that guy? Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, look at this. Our moon base is updated. What we got? We got bomb fragment and Antarctic wind. All right. Ooh. So our dudes are still working in the munitions factory. Uh, we got Arctic wind. We get. We, we're gonna get Arctic wind in 42 minutes, boys. That means we're gonna have a uh, mid-tier item, and that'll probably help us get through chapter two pretty quickly because I'm gonna be chucking items for like a majority of this game <laughs> yo that's that's hype oh I can't save it right now damn adventure where you at man what the adventure at all right and uh, I think I should actually return to here we go I was looking for the button I was looking for my mouse it looks like we might run into some new enemies here. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Basalm. Basalm sack. What the hell is basalm? That's a weird, that's a weird sounding damn item, basalm. A ball sam. A ball sack. <laughs> basalm sack. Everybody's really Mustang on my team. Look at that. They, they know how to recycle. <laughs> they know how to recycle. Go green, baby. <laughs> they know how to recycle them items. They getting all... <laughs> they getting the use out of them items, dude. That 79 cents of bomb fragment you, you, you just wasting there. I'm going to use that. <laughs> I'm going to use that. That 69p worth of damn bomb fragment you throwing away. You better use that bomb friend. <laughs> Shout out to everybody hates Chris. Dude, the dad from that show is hilarious. Chris's dad was ridiculous. His mother was even worse. Oh my god. Not when it came to money though. Oh, poison, definitely. Um actually I'm gonna go to special. There's somebody who recovers with uh poison. She doesn't she has sleep. She has blind, he has paralyzed, he has silence. Nobody recovers poison though. That's fine, because I think the more serious status elements are like sleep, silence, and, you know, paralysis. I wish they gave me something that prevents sleep. Well, the star pendant might be overall better stat-wise, stat so. No, it's not. Maybe better than these lover, leather gloves, no? Uh, whatever. Two less defense, but we get immunity, so it's whatever. Nullify blindness. I would actually want to give that to my girl, Adea. Yeah, her physical defense goes down quite... Actually goes down enough. Oh, man. But I'd rather have that nullify blindness so she can do max damage. She won't be using it. Eh, she, I guess that's right. She won't be using it. She'll be using items to do damage. Because at this point, we do more damage with items than, actually, uh, than our actual weapons. So let's keep going. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Who's next? 
Everybody's Roy Mustang. Everybody knows how to recycle. Yes. Perfect. This is the best team, man. Go green or go home. Go green or go home, man. Earth Drum. Is that a mere tier spell? It deals moderate. Yup. Alright, we got moderate damage. About to end all these enemies' career. Right here. About to end their whole career. <laughs> About to end these guys' career, dude. Macarena. Oh, the adventure dude's down there, so you know what that means, right? Oh, these dudes want it? Uh. Oh, my face! <laughs> Ooh, he said, Megaton! Pah! <laughs> That, oh my god, he was not playing, dude. You see how much damage he did? He did 400 damage, fam. Like, that's illegal as fuck. That's illegal. You can't be doing that much damage. That's so illegal to be doing that much. At least we got a Phoenix down. And the funny thing is, you can actually use Phoenix down on everybody if you use half seas, which is pretty useful. It only gets uh, worse from here on in, huh? Alright, so let's buy some items first before we save. I think I'll buy a couple more. Buy seven more high potions. We got some earth drums. What about the bomb? Bomb arm. Deals major fire damage. Look how much money it costs, though. <laughs> oh my god. We'll get like, you know... We'll get like maybe ten. Cause I, th I feel like these are gonna come in handy. Catch me, conch. User attracts enemy attacks for five turns. Reduces target's movement speed. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy ten of these. Ten of these. No, buy eight of those. I feel like these could actually be very useful. Catch me, conch. Especially somebody would hide. Uh, you know. Specific defense. Let's say if we were going against a magic user and we want that magic user to just specifically attack somebody with high magic defense. So we would want that magic defense user to use a catch me conch on the enemy. You're good. This game just offers you tools on tools on top of tools. It's ridiculous. The automaton was like, One punch you! It's like, damn it, I didn't do it. That damn enemy was watching too, one, uh, too much uh, one punch, man. So, a lot of people were asking me to do some things with ad friends. The funny thing is, I can even update the data, which is hilarious, until I deleted people off my friends list. So, in order for this to work, I had to delete like four people. Sorry, four people, but uh, it's not like I get on my 3DS to play games with you anyway. <laughs> there were no friends registered on the system that could be added. Whatever, update data. And then we'll save our game. And then we're gonna take a break after this. We're gonna see if anybody, uh... See if we can, uh, pretty much... Get any new moves or specials, or specials from this. Three data files updated. We got Nick, John Niles, and Leon. Hey, On a roll. Cat, fancier, the pony in, but you can get titles. Huh. I need to set my title. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is take a short break here, and once we come back, we might actually be greeted by a optional boss fight. So I will see you guys next time for more Bravely Second. <laughs> 